That's gross. It's empty. I already ate it. Just stacks in my pocket. I'm a fat ass right now. Rough life. Come on! Come on, Chris! And Come on, you want And still! Four times! Come on, Chris! Let's go! Finish it off! Stick with the original. Just kidding. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Post Olympia Living with Chris Bumstead and Courtney King. She's no longer cooking seven different types of potato <laughs> and filet mignon and chicken and salmon every 15 to 20 minutes. And we're back to the real world. I'm trying to not get fat and meal prepping my life right now. But came back, we were in Canada for a while, got sick, got bronchitis, tore a bicep, have been fucking chilling and living the dream right now. So, I mean, a lot of you guys have been asking, update on my bicep, taking peptides, BPC-157, TB-500, blasting it in there. Great stuff for healing injuries. Also just did some stem cell injections. I got a video of that, but it's pretty graphic of needles going in my arm. But stem cell, tip peptides, trying to heal the process up. Haven't trained in like five weeks or so. I've done legs. legs. I've done legs like once a week-ish. Not, I'm like not working hard. So I'm letting my body recover right now, but Olympia's in nine months, so. Walk every time. day for 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm 251 right now too, so I put on 12 pounds-ish since the Olympia. So I'm still not fat yet, but I just feel skinny fat. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're gonna go train legs later today because it's all I can train to film. Calvin just made it back yesterday, so sadly I was hoping he was gonna never come home, but it is what it is. We're stuck with him for now, but. That's fucked up. That's nice. <laughs> that's me. Is there anything yeah. else going on? We're going to Aspen. We're going to Aspen. We're going to Aspen to do some snowboarding for the next eight days. We're going to leave Friday. We got a new product coming out from Raw. Very excited for that. We're filming stuff for that this morning. But um, yeah, that's kind of the life right now. I'm going to go to Best Buy, get some headphones, because Courtney put mine in the washing machine. I did not. I do the wash. You leave your shit, like your keys and all of your stuff in your pockets. Uh, yeah. I just throw your stuff in and clean it. Hold yeah, it. that's my fault. So we're yeah. gonna go get some headphones. We're gonna try a new pair because Vaughn said there's something better than AirPods. And that's about what we got going on. Are we also start her YouTube again? What? Yeah, Courtney's, guys. Courtney's, yeah, go subscribe to Courtney. Let's go. She's getting on YouTube. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna make him recipes so you can go follow all the recipes on there. I, wait, Even do the I, last you machine. should you should put it in here. Put it in this clip. I'll send the video to Calvin. Yeah, but I come home and it smelled so good in the house. I was like looking around and then the, she was like somewhere else and the oven was on. I'm like, fuck yes. I open up the oven, banana bread being baked in there, smell coming up beautiful. Perfecting your For recipe. some reason, not even close to being done. She just has to come touch it. She literally just grabs it, pulls it out and drops it. And it falls upside down on the bottom of the oven. <laughs> like, it literally just fell on the bottom of the oven. It just was mud. destroyed and I just like took it and kind of like, but like try it, it's fire. It still tastes really good, yeah. It's amazing, it's like chewy, oh. like a chewy loaf thing. Like, try it, Kelvin, please, babe. Oh. Like the corner. It's amazing, right? I thought it was. Gluten free, not that it matters. I think it cooked a little more, but. Yeah, well it wasn't done yet, so it's a little chewy, but it's just like blobs of bread. It's so good, yeah. uh, it's kind of like a pudding. Yeah. Oh God, don't say that. We said we should cut it up and put it in the oven like air fryer or something and make it like stuffing. Banana bread stuffing. <laughs> banana bread stuffing. It's like banana bread dough. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Like I definitely, I mean, I dropped it everywhere. Like. Yeah, this was better than the last one too, so it's kind of sad. I'll remake it for you tonight, babe, okay? You can bring some to Aspen, give a loaf to Kelvin. Oh yeah. I have baby loaf things, so I can like cook a bunch. Should have brought the dough. <clears throat> I'm full on addicted to snacking right now. Like, yeah, that's another update. Like an issue, I can't stop eating. He eats I, a I bag of chips every in every one 20 sitting. minutes. Horrible. All my treats. What else do you snack on? Plantain I keep chips. buying these low calorie chips and eating the full bag. And these go, my stomach kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you eat a whole bag in five minutes. And then we have <laughs> cereal every night because yeah. we have 10 boxes of cereal <laughs> in the house. Have you tried the new Three Wishes flavor? Which one? Or maybe you guys are already have. I mean, I, it's new to me, the cinnamon roll one. Oh my oh, god, bro, it, it's been out, but we have boxes over boxes there, so them. you should go definitely take a box. Whoa, not the you. cinnamon one. Wait, you guys have boxes of Three Wishes? Yes. Man. Shout out to Three Wishes, thank you guys. <laughs> but yeah, they're good. It's good stuff. It's really good. Yeah, um, but yeah, so <coughs> you're gonna go get some headphones, so. They didn't have the ones Vaughn had. They had like a little swirly thing that one in here. They looked like these jaybirds, but they were- Oh, the beats? 
Yeah, those ones Vaughn has? Yeah, those are the Oh, B's has its own section? Yeah, it's Apple now. Fair point. Always canceling wireless in your beast headphones. <laughs> How much are called? Oh, right there. Those? The, yeah, these ones. Yeah, Fit Pros, I got them in uh, white, gray, purple, black. Uh, can I get the gray ones? <laughs> Just one pair? Oh, uh, yes, please. Found them. All right, so great success. They had both in stock. I always forget a pair in at work or at home or in the office. So I'm gonna leave one of these in my car and then one of them I'm gonna bring around with me all the time. I hope I don't forget it. But these better be better than the AirPod Pros because Vaughn says they are better. So these are gonna be my gym ones. These will be my like work and at home headphones and cardio maybe, but I don't know. I feel like Best Buy in Canada never has anything in stock. No, but every no. time I come here, they have everything. America. <laughs> a big ass sign if you can't realize. I think they're like 10 feet tall or 20 feet tall. I don't even know. I wasn't even one up. But they're fucking huge. But back to the raw warehouse. Beautiful warehouse. Back to real life. Our AC broke and it was fucking freezing in here. So Allie's been sitting outside. It's freezing it's cold in there. But yeah, people are literally coming with like pants and sweatpants. It's so cold in there. Brutal. Outside. Rough life. <laughs> Rough life here at the Raw Life. Yerba Mate, it turns out, has also been shown to be neuroprotective specifically for so, dopaminergic neurons. And this is just trying like, studies. You're trying to manage your dopamine? Yeah. I'm trying to manage my dopamine. Especially in my given state. I mean, everyone's fucking on the Andrew Heberman train right now. Courtney got me onto him, so she gets credit for it. But post Olympia, He's talking about like dopamine crashes and up and down and managing it so that you can stay motivated and driven and enjoying activities that you typically enjoy for extended periods and consistent periods of time. Well, when I fucking have three, when I have a year every year leading up to one day at the Olympia, it's this huge fucking beautiful moment, this huge dopamine rush, and then immediately after it's like, Bleh. and then I go to the gym and I just like, I don't want to be in the fucking gym. I have no drive to be there. I have no fucking anything. So I typically just let myself have this time because it is what it is. But it's kind of cool listening to like the way your body is like reactive to motivation and drive given the literal hormones in your brain of dopamine and little things on it. Something I noticed with myself when I stopped having as much drive in the gym, I started being on my phone a lot more in the gym. And I started to just like fucking scroll or listen to a podcast and scroll between sets of the gym. And it was also because my workouts were just half ass. I'm just trying to like move my body right now but it was also making me not enjoy my time there because it was like relying on the stimulus and dopamine rush I'm potentially getting from scrolling my phone or whatever instead of the actual workout. And he says stacking things like that isn't really optimal to do over an extended periods of time because, well, you're gonna lose motivation and drive. Your workout's also probably shit if you're scrolling Instagram between every set, as mine are lately. So I'm learning, you know? Definitely love Mr. Huberman. If you guys wanna learn a lot, if you haven't heard of him, you're fucking sleeping <coughs> in the world because he's everywhere and he's really smart so good shit but anyways we're headed to the gym on a leg day talk about lack of motivation i don't i don't even work out anymore but i did just eat an oatmeal cookie honestly pretty fire but i literally was scavenging around the warehouse looking for food because i was starving i meant to leave earlier i only brought one meal with me today and i ran into mega fit yesterday and i forgot to reorder so you know just, I'm slowly getting, dipping my toes in the water of being a real human again and a bodybuilder, but I'm doing all right. So, go to the gym, hit some legs, hopefully have a decent workout, hopefully get it done quick. I'm not trying to be there for two hours and then go home and pack for Aspen. So, I guess we'll see you guys at the gym. Are you going to deadlift? Hell no. I might squat at the end. I don't like. But I genuinely have had two fake leg workouts and then one half real leg workout where I like pressed like four plates with one leg and then squatted two plates. But like, man, I got no drive and I'm in lots of pain and I feel super weak and I got a torn bicep. So I'm just, I'll just give myself till I go to Aspen and I get that trip and then I come back 
and the bicep will be healed. But that's the time I was supposed to take off. I'm gonna slowly get back into training and do it. But for now, I can at least try not to lose my legs. So we're gonna try to pick up this workout. I'm also trying to do some stability stuff. Maybe we'll do some pistol squats. So when I snowboard on the next week, I got some stability in my knees. Cleans? Power cleans, snatches, all the good shit. My workouts as of lately, i.e. my last two workouts I've done, I superset quad extension, ham curls just to warm up my knees and the blood in my legs. Then I come over and I do single leg leg press. Partly because I don't want to put plates on right now. Partly because my knees just feel unstable right now and I want to make sure they're equally strong. So as I'm kind of like rebuilding right now, they each get individual attention on the knee that I need. And it helps me get a little bit deeper. So I'm moving right now. So when I train less, when I'm sitting at a desk or on my couch or just sleeping, my body gets more locked up. So when you train, you're moving, you're activating your muscles in like a more range motion, you feel a lot better. So I'm just trying to move my body, not being a skinny bitch. That's gross. It's empty, I already ate it. Just fucking snacks in my pocket because I'm a fat ass right now. Rough life.
Calvin's waiting to put five plates on. It's a sad day when Calvin's putting more weight on than I am. Whoops. Whoops. That's cool a lot once or twice a year, not in Smith's machine. Just so. Just keep the people happy. That's a nice bar, this new? No. Oh man, I forgot my shoulder mobility is six. Guess we're high bar squatting today. Nothing worse than when the squat rack isn't lined up with the mirror. You see this? Yeah, it's pretty I'm crooked. I'm like, do I line up with the mirror or with the squat rack? And then there's a line in the ground that's also crooked, so I just feel fucking sideways. I'm messing with my head right now. Oh, so oh, fucked up the lyrics there. What? I was singing a song and I fucked up the lyrics. You're gonna get copyrighted for you. You sound just like Lincoln Park. <coughs> Think how quick your body can lose fucking a lot of strength and a lot of performance ability. Just from sitting on your ass for four weeks. I do blame the flu for the first two weeks, but the rest is all my fault for being lazy. So one more week of laziness, and then we're gonna have to start an off-season series if Chris get back in shape this year. Yeah. Normally I don't see Calvin. We don't film. We just sneeze. So when I get fat and lazy and skinny, no one knows because there's no YouTube. But. Fucking gotta be accountable this year, I guess. of January. A good run. Sled pushes? Sled pushes. If I wasn't too lazy to set it up, I actually would. Probably great for my knees when I talk about knee stability. But no, I'm gonna do lunges. Mobility. Get fucking range of motion. I come here without Courtney now because she can walk and lunge more than me at this point, so. Try not to embarrass myself. How was it? Hey? How was it? It's good. It's good. Okay. Can't talk though.
walking lunges are worse than cardio. That's a lie, they're not. The year of the calf. You said that last year. I've said it for the last four years. But I think last year was the first year my calves, the least my calves have ever shrunk through a press. So it's progress. Progress. But they could have been better. No, I already did the thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Trying to get an awkward thumbnail. All right, that's going to be a wrap on today's leg workout, if you want to call it that. Decent enough. Broke a sweat without a breath. Pushing myself harder than last time. Thanks, Greg, you set for the motivation. But honestly, I'm talking, making jokes about how weak and fucking lazy I am right now. But I honestly do think a huge reason why I'm able to progress every year and be at a, such a high level physique and keep getting better and not pushing unhealthy supplements and other shit and more just like training and food and everything like that is because I give my body the rest it needs so it's not chronically stressed and it's able to push itself further every single year. Whatever muscle I lose comes back quickly with muscle maturity and then when I get back into training I can push it to the next level. So it's kind of the goal. Luckily only having to compete once a year at the Olympia I get time to rest. I can take at least three months of chilling, completely let my body recover all the cortisol, stress, adhesion, breakup, muscle tears, everything can kind of go back to healthy and then I can kill an off season. So that's the goal, the advantage it gives me from these guys trying to do the Arnold Classic, trying to do different shows qualify, kind of the perks of being the champ I guess. So doing that, resting up and we're back full steam. So don't skip rest days, they're very important, they're how you keep getting better for the long term. That's today's moral of the story but we'll come back to the vlogs 2023. Yeah, I don't know. Comment below what you guys want to see in the full video. Full day of cheating is coming. We're going to do a full day of cheating when I'm back from Aspen and when I'm back training, so I'm not super fat. And we're going to do some more kind of food vlogs, a little bit more travel this year. Uh, whatever else you guys want to see, let me know below. But we're back. Calvin's back. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.